Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for being here. I have missed you guys so much. I pre-recorded my last haul on I think must have been Monday of last week. It was before my birthday and my birthday was Tuesday and so I haven't recorded in so long and so I miss you guys. And since I recorded that last one, I've had my birthday and I just want to thank all of you so, so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate all of you so much. I want to re-say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you had the most amazing, amazing time with whatever you did, even if it was just keeping to yourself because sometimes we need that. And I want to say um, I am almost to 900 subscribers. I think the last time I looked a little bit earlier today, it was 897. And I'm like right there. So thank you guys so much for that. I drew randomly two winners for my 800 subscriber giveaway and neither of them got back to me. So I decided instead of drawing it again, I'm just going to do two winners for my 900 subscriber giveaway, which should hopefully be on my next video coming up at the beginning of this upcoming week. So um, keep an ear out for that because I will do two winners for my 900 subscriber giveaway. And guys, that means we are so close to getting me to that goal of a thousand and a thousand of you being in my YouTube family. And I just appreciate all of you so 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 much that I just I don't even have the right words for it um, I want to say I'm sorry about the lighting I know I feel like I'm backlit and maybe when I edit it I'll see if the lighting works well here or not but this room is all kind of in disarray because of decorating for Christmas and it's not done yet and I was just finding a good spot to set and try to record and I'm loving my new flocked Christmas tree it's not done yet and you'll see because I have more ornaments that I've hauled to put on it but I'm liking the way it started so I wanted to show it in my background so I have two things of Happy Mail they have arrived I've had them for quite a while so thank you to both of you for waiting but I wanted to wait to open them um, as soon as I recorded next and here we are on is it it's Saturday <laughs> because you know my birthday and then Thanksgiving and then after Thanksgiving um, clean up and relaxing my dogs are going crazy if you hear the noise in the background um, so here we are finally recording because my goodness life and so I wanted to share I have this piece of happy mail it's from a subscriber named Dawn I love the snowflake she put on it I am loving these packages from Dollar Tree and then she did two stickers on the back I could see where one of them was supposed to be and it fell off during transit and then there's this other one and I could tell that they were like the um tropical ones because I love tropical and so um this came I've held it thank you Don and I just um opened them today like right before I started filming I cut the the tops of the two so that I don't have to cut them while I'm waiting ah, I love this card so it is the gingerbread card this is happy holidays I love this card and you are the best super sweet super sweet thank you Dawn thank you so much um, I took a little sneak peek in there and I saw Gingy's which makes me so excited yay she found me the Gingy's and you saw you watched my hauls you saw that I found some too one of them they shorted me they only gave me um, 12 in the package and I'm already almost through. I've done two packages and I'm almost through them with some of my DIYs. And I still have more DIYs in mind. And so she gave me three packages. I am gingied. I'm full of gingies and I am so happy for it. I am for it because I am loving them. Like I think I want to make a little garland with them. I Because some of the projects take more than one. And they're so small you have to use enough of them. And you sent me extra goodies. Oh, you sent me four gingies. There's another one in here. Thank you so much. I am happy that I have extras because whatever I don't get to this year, I'm going to do next year. And this, you know, this is a great idea of her Christmas cards. I haven't figured out how I'm doing Christmas cards this year. And I have extras because of all, all of you guys. And I'm loving it. So maybe I'll do that. I used to have a Christmas card holder and then I stopped getting as many paper cards because, I don't know, life I guess for people. And speaking of Christmas cards, if you want a Christmas card, I'm going to try to mail them out. My email address is in the description box below. And if you want to send me an email and say Christmas card as your, um, what do they call those in emails? Your, um, title? It's not that hard of a word. Anyway, just label it, call it, name it, uh, Christmas card and send me your address. And I'm going to try to mail out Christmas cards. I bought some, there's, in my haul, I bought some more. 
And so I want to try to mail some out. So that's side note, um, description box below. Uh, my PO box is in there and you can mail them to the PO box. Or, or, I'm going to mail you, not to my PO box. Send me your address to my email address. <laughs> it's listed in the description box below. It's like I haven't recorded in over a week. Has it been over a week or just a week? Less than a week. I don't know. Wow. Anyway, back to my happy mail. She sent me some masks. This chocolate one. I have not been able to find the chocolate ones or the wine ones. And I've looked for them all the time. And so this is super fun. So it is a cocoa powder. Refreshes skin for a fresh, healthy complexion. Self-heating clay mask. I do love clay masks. So I'm excited to give that one a try. Yay. Yay. And then this one is the Chamomile Neck Sheet Mask by Found. Uh, Jay from Frugal Jay sent me a found one. I haven't used it yet. I just haven't given myself that, that kind of time to do the self-care. This is on my wish list. Yay, I haven't found it. The Wall Art, it has gnomes and gingies and a camper. This is like a little bit of everything in here. I saw someone haul it with the gingerbreads and I was like, oh. I'm not a gnome person, really. Like, I like to find them for other people, but I am a gingerbread person all the way. Ah, and this was definitely on my wish list. So thank you, thank you. I have a bag down here to put stuff in, and I haven't been. And stickers. So I was going to actually ask on one of my videos, is anyone else having a hard time finding Christmas stickers? Because I have been on the hunt for Christmas stickers, and I am just not finding any. And they're apparently out there. So how cute. There's a little Christmas dinosaur, Christmas sweater, the gingy, some hot cocoa. Oh, these are super cute. I haven't found Christmas stickers, and I keep looking in the Christmas section and the sticker section, and I'm not finding them. Thank you so much, Dawn. I appreciate you so much. And I am so excited to have more gingies, and now I, you know when you start using things sparingly because you just don't know if you're going to have enough or not? And that's where I was, was like, okay, let me sparingly use these, and now I don't have to. All right, this one is from Jay, from Frugal Jay, of course, with the beautiful butterflies. I really like the sticker. It says one and only. It was to the one and only Amber. And so always beautiful packaging. And I got this, this actually, so when I was recording, pre-recording my other hauls, um, the dog started like, getting a little antsy because of some noise outside and it was someone dropping this off but then I didn't um, start it and record it again so this has been sitting and waiting. Oh I love this. It is a pink bath sponge. How beautiful is that? Girl you load things up. I know I'm supposed to look for a card right there on the side. Aww your stickers and your stuff is awesome. You, Amber, love is you. I love this, and I love the colors of these letter stickers. It says, love is what you give, joy is how you live. Happy birthday to a woman who is an inspiration to all who know her. Aw, happy birthday, beautiful. Here are some items for Happy Mail, a few for you to enjoy as the birthday girl, and enjoy your birthday to the fullest. Love always, Jay. Thank you super sweet it's got the glitter i love this card it's so pretty and then some pretty stickers inside and jay you have such pretty handwriting like such pretty handwriting all right sorry so my table is right here usually it's right in front of me it's to the side so i feel a little discombobulated today and i have a chair next to me with my bag of stuff which is a nice full bag so i guess i should give the disclaimer too today's probably going to be a pretty long haul because i got a lot going on Ooh, that's a pretty bottle. Let's look at a kind of greenish grayish hue to it. That's really pretty. Oh, the girl power brush. Yep. Yeah. I've seen you haul these and I've seen other people's happy mail with them. Awesome brush. Okay. Two things now. All your stickers. And I love this tissue paper. There's more stickers. Such beautiful tissue paper. Look at all this fun stuff. Ooh, that is pretty. Scented nail polish. Oh, man. Send me roses. Look how pretty that color is. 
the nail file that goes with it. I haven't seen these at my store or any stores because I have a lot of stores to go to. These two. So I've seen you. I saw you haul these and I've seen you gifting them. And I was like, oh, I want to find that so bad. And I haven't found it. And thank you so much. These either. I'm not finding these essential tools anywhere in my stores. And I really wanted this one with the pink. It is a concealer, conceal and correct brush. And I, yeah, I've been, I've been watching for this one. And then the sponges, which always handy. And one second. And a friend's lip gloss. I actually have these in my haul, but I have them for other people. So I bought me two of them and it wasn't, I didn't find another one of these. I was on a hunt for one of them and I couldn't find it. So this one is one I didn't have. Yay. Ah, the bags. I forgot about these. So we've got treat bags and they are pink with the gingies and all the cookies. So I think they're cookies. The stocking and tree and mitten. Oh, those are so cute. So cute. And these. So Jay, she reached out to me and asked me if I would love this and I haven't found these in my stores either. And I'm like, ooh, so I like to do parties and I am, I've planned and I haven't done it yet to do a sleepover with a camp out theme. I got like a um, fire pillow and just all kinds of fun things for the kids and I haven't done it yet. And so when I do that, I think that this will be really fun for them. They can all be like little creatures from the forest when they are camping out. I think that they would really enjoy that. Camping out, we're gonna do a tent in the living room because, I mean, maybe if we do it in the summer, it could be in the backyard. I don't know how many of them would stay out there though. Yay! She sent me these. Ah, they're so cute. They're so much cuter in person than they are when you see them even on camera. So these are going to be perfect for my kitchen, which is going to be gingerbread theme. Oh, those are so cute. Sorry, guys. This is going to be such a long haul because I have so many things in my bag over here. The flamingo socks. I saw you haul these and I was like, ah, I bet that's for me. Some flamingo socks. I have another pair because Melinda sent me a pair too because they are just, they're perfect. And I love this kind of thinner sock under some of my Uggs because some of my Uggs I need thicker socks and then some of them I need thinner socks because they're so warm and cozy inside. So those would be perfect. Yes. I know you didn't like them, so thank you for sending me some of them. The peanut butter cookies. These are my favorite. And the Gingy. I can't find these in my stores. I bought them for more than I should have from Hobby Lobby because I can't find them in my stores. Yay, 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 yay. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Don. I appreciate you both so much. Okay, I have so much to haul, so let me get started because we're already like in this. So first I wanted to just show, I use these. I bought these for a Thanksgiving dinner, and I bought them like the night before, so I never had a chance to haul them. But I bought just the um, to-go containers from Betty Crocker. And they came in, these ones were like the smaller round ones. And then these were like the bigger, uh, rec, they're not rectangle, but kind of more rectangular ones. You got three and two in those. And then I also picked up two of these um, kind of meal prep containers. And I did those for leftovers. My parents and my grandpa came over for dinner. And then we sent a plate for my grandma. Um, and so I figured those would be really good because then they could take leftovers with them and I don't have to worry about getting any of my containers back so I picked those up right before and so the containers are gone now you see my tree behind me it's starting to look beautiful I'll do a whole thing about the ornaments and stuff at some point but I need more it's definitely not full yet and I found these I saw someone haul them they ended up on my wish list and then I was so excited to find them they're the little ice skates get the tag out of the way they have the greenery coming out on top. I don't like the brown bottom part. I haven't decided if I want to try to paint it like a gray or a silver. Um, but other than that, I love them. I think they are perfect. So I got two for my tree. And um, Brandy. Brandy, I can't remember your last name. I'm going to link her channel down below. She is sending me two of these because she was able to find two. I still haven't found the trees. I can't find the little mini trees of these anywhere. But I did find two of the garlands. 
and so I picked them up because I knew that you're also sending me two. I was going to put them on my tree, but I decided not to. I think I'm going to do them like on my shelves or on my tables as some decor, but I love them, and I'm still still on the hunt for the trees, and I have not found the trees. I was lucky to find the garland. I haven't seen the red and um, red and black buffalo check anywhere either. Like, it is just not around in my store. <clears throat> and then this one, so I had bought a long time ago when they first came out because they were some of the first Christmas things to come out was the snowman wreath forms. So it's like the big snowman. And I'm going to try to just wrap the snowman in white yarn and then the hat in the black yarn and do it in black and white because this room is my black and white Christmas room. And so that was kind of my thought to make it work. So I'm going to try that out. So I got the yarn from Dollar Tree and I honestly had no idea how much I was going to need. These come in 65 yards for the white ones and they're the Chanel. So they're really soft. I don't know if you can see like that they're just that kind of shiny soft material, which I love. And then this is the Just Yarn Worsted. I don't know anything about yarn. And this is 131 yards. So you get a lot more in this one. So that is my thoughts with those is for that snowman um, wreath form. Then I haven't even gotten to the bag guys, and it's so full. I picked up two frames. So I got this really big one. It is 11 by 14. And then I got this one and I think it was 12 by 12 when I measured it. Yeah. Because it doesn't say because it's supposed to, you know, hold all kinds of different pictures. But my plan for these is to use these bags and frame them and hang them up in here in my black and white room. Because I have touches of red like on the tree and stuff. So this one is the Christmas tree farm and I'm going to use the square frame just to capture all that on this one. And then the one that I really fell in love with was this one. It's the baby, it's cold outside, and it's got the faux wood look, like in the background. And I just love this so much. So I can't capture this border, but it's going to have the border of the picture frame. And so I think it'll be great. So I'm gonna take these $1 bags and use them as nice decor on my walls and I'm really for it like I'm really excited to do that I picked up these because I feel like they just have that faux snow kind of vibe to them and I don't really have a plan other than under something in this room probably I've seen people cut them and wrap them around like they use the poster board and make a tree out of them and then you can wrap it in this and then you just have that really soft and that's one idea maybe I'll do. I have the um, placemats that I hauled in my last Dollar Tree haul and they are the buffalo check and maybe I'll do one in buffalo check and one in this and then you have different textures and colors. I might do that actually but I'm not for sure. I picked up two of these. Um, I need to go buy the wreath form still but I think I might try to make a wreath because I don't have a wreath for this room because it used to be red and green and now I'm going black and white. So I was gonna try the, the tactic where you cut strips and just tie it to the wreath form. I've never made a wreath ever. And so I am going to attempt that, I think, if I have enough time. Because guys, if you keep hearing all of my ideas, all of them, there's just not enough time for everything. I picked up these Christmas cards, you get 12 in this pack. It's not the premium ones, but I thought these were gorgeous and I plan to take one of them and frame it and just put it on my shelves for decor in here because it's, you know, got that snow and the tree and I feel like it just really vibes in this room. And then the rest I'm going to send out. And on the inside it has the words where it says warmly thinking of you and wishing you a very merry Christmas. And I just think that those are beautiful cards. And I know I already picked up one. They're like kind of baked goods ones. But I had to do those too because I love them. I picked up this guy for my tree. One sec. Sorry guys. The dogs are getting into mischief. So I had to check on them. Um, so I got the deer for this tree over here. These I am so excited. I ended up picking up two. So they are the wooden snowflakes. They say Mary with the galvanized and they have the buffalo check in the background. And I just feel like that they are gonna vibe on this tree perfectly. And I love the size, they're nice and big and they're just perfect for this tree. I don't know where to put everything. I just feel so discombobulated over here. I picked up this, I lost the berries. They're in a bag somewhere. 
And I wasn't going to use it as a tree topper, but I thought I could use it for something. And if not, I can take the bottom off and just make it an ornament or just like stick it into the tree as an ornament. But I thought it was really cute, so I picked it up because, you know, it was cute and it matches the rooms in here or the vibe in here. I also grabbed one of these. It is like the little bird house to stick on this tree. And I really like that. I picked up this oil warmer or wax warmer and I just like the look of the snowflake for in here I thought it was really cute and I picked this up too it is the little lantern I got the one that has like the gray so they have the solid black ones and then this one kind of has that silver kind of mixed into it and so I got this just to put in as decor in this room because the cozy cabin theme I thought the lantern just made sense for that Okay, I picked up a couple things of fake snow. If you watched my collective haul, I bought like this um, really cute jar thing. I was going to do some fake snow on the bottom. And so I picked some up to do that with. This stuff is a mess and I usually avoid using it, but it was so pretty and just kind of had the idea of where I was going. So I figure why not? I picked up three of these. You get two in each. They are 48 inches. 4.8 inches I'm assuming that's the diameter and then they're a quarter of an or no 75.75 three quarters of an inch thick and I was um, bargain Bethany last year painted a bunch of these and made them look like um, peppermints and so I was going to try that out I am not super artistic I will say I feel like I'm crafty but I am not artistic at all and so we're going to see how that works because that includes like painting yourself. And I don't know if I can do that. I picked up these stickers, mostly for the ones in the middle of the candy canes. I like the stockings too, but I really like the candy cane ones because in my kitchen, I'm doing gingerbread, which will include some peppermint, candy canes, candy, that kind of thing. And then in the bathroom, which is right off my kitchen, I've decided that I'm going to do that in candy cane theme. So I've picked up some things to do in there. I picked up some batteries. Um, my last haul, I think it was my last one, I picked up some lights, and they're the battery-operated little LED lights, and so I needed some batteries to make those work. I picked up both of these for some crafting for the gingerbread kitchen. I will say, this just really depends on time, if I have time to get to it, because I am starting to feel like, you know, that, that lowness, like we're running low. On time it's already thanks past Thanksgiving now and I have too many ideas in my head and I don't know if I have the time for them all I picked up these they are the transfer tape I have been looking for these forever and I can't find them in my Dollar Trees and so when I found them I grabbed two you get 38 inches worth of the transfer tape and it's medium tack and sometimes I've been trying to use the Dollar Tree vinyl because I love the dollar price tag of it but I use the contact paper from Dollar Tree a lot as my transfer tape and it's just not sticky enough sometimes for it and so I was hopeful that that'll be better. I picked up this because I plan to use it on, if you watched, it's been several hauls back now, I got a really big board that says mistletoe kisses and hot cocoa or something like that. I can't remember the wording but it's like a big um, sign that you know opens and I wanted to put this on the corner. I actually need some bow too, some ribbon to make a bow, but I wanted to embellish it a little bit, so I bought these to do some embellishments on crafts. I picked up this tray for in the bathroom, since I've decided I want to do it a peppermint theme, I thought this would be really cute just sitting on the top of the toilet, and I might get like a candle or just something to put on top of it, but I thought this cute little tray would be perfect for the top of a toilet in a candy themed bathroom, and so I grabbed it. I on my birthday I did crafts and I painted the little houses black and white and they came out so good but now I was like well how do I want to display those and I picked up the, two of these tray chargers and one round charger and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use and when I was at the store I didn't know what size I was going to need and I think I because I tried them out I think I like the tray chargers but you can only fit two on there and I have four and so it depends on where I'm putting them but that's why I picked up these chargers and then I figure if I don't use the round one for that I can maybe use it you know paint them center black and like use my Cricut and put like something and use it as decor and so it doesn't hurt to have it um, for some decor in here 
It is not the same not having the table in front of me to set everything. All right. Switch gears real fast. I picked up the Friends Chapsticks. I was looking for these. My best friend is a huge Friends fan, and I wanted to get her a set to add in, darn it, to add to her Christmas gift. And um, so I was on the hunt for that. And then while I was looking for them, Jackie V Vlogs um, put out an ask on her Instagram about them as well and said, you know, please, if anyone can find them. So I got a set for her. And then I picked up for me two of them, but I can't remember which two. It was the purple one, I think, the iced coffee and then the regular coffee one. I picked up for me because I was able to find the extras of those. And then Jay just gave me the strawberry one. So I think the only one I'm missing is the vanilla latte. But I wasn't really dead set on getting the whole set for me because, I mean, I love coffee. Like, I love coffee. So that's why I wanted to make sure to get me at least one. But, um, yeah, I wanted to, anyone who was Friends fans, I wanted to make sure they got them. So my best friend has a set. Jackie, now that I'm finally hauling them, you get a set. And then I have just a couple X. Well, I think I just have one of each for me. I don't know. I'm not counting right here. So, or one maybe I'm missing, but I don't know. I picked up one more of these because I decided I want to do it differently. I'm, I bought three and I was going to do them on poster board, but I think I'm going to try to stuff them and make them fluff, fluffy and like do like the pillow style with these instead. So I got one more so I can do two of those. They're going to go on top of my cabinets in my kitchen. And I wasn't going to grab the Christmas tree, but I'm going to be honest. This had two Christmas trees in it. And they come with one. And I was like, you know what? I wasn't going to, but I'm going to pick that guy up and take him home with me and probably do a stuffed one with this one too. Because there is two in here. And I'm going to reap the benefit of someone's, of them getting stuck together when they were packaging it. So that's why I grabbed it. I think I'm going to try to turn him into a pillow too. Because why not, right? I have more and more and more. Okay, I picked these up for some friend mail. I sent a bunch out not too long ago, but um, I have not sent it all out. And so I was going to toss this in somebody's package that I haven't mailed out yet. Same with these. I have not decided. I keep wanting to keep one. I'd have to cut it down. There's no way I could live with my nails this long. But I bought, I bought them, picked them up for friend mail or for happy mail. And... I don't know if I want to keep a set because I think they're beautiful and like I said I'd have to cut them down and file them because those nails are killer but they are the Kiss brand you get 24 nails in here which is such a killer deal like such a good deal it doesn't tell you how many are black versus how many are cheetah print but ugh, aren't they so pretty and there's little like bits of kind of a rose gold in there too so I love the colors and I love the print, but I don't, we'll see. This was on an end cap as I was like checking out. It's Denver Broncos lanyard. And I don't, I mean, I'm not a big sports person. My best friend though was a huge Denver Broncos fan. And so I think I might use this in her Christmas gift. I wish I had this when I did her football themed fall gift basket because that would have been awesome. But it has it where it's orange on this side and blue on that side. So that's really cool. It's the tear away and like just a lanyard and for a dollar like I couldn't believe it and it's NFL brand like that was a killer deal I think there was two or three of them but I only grabbed one I grabbed these for my son Eric he is a pizza lover like he loves pizza and I thought maybe I could give it to him to put on his Christmas tree I thought that would be fun they're battery operated little LED lights and they don't always have ones for boys. So when I saw one that I thought he would love, I had to pick it up. I grabbed these for Lorelai, my daughter, for Christmas. She is a scrunchie lover. Her favorite scrunchie lately has been one of these fuzzy ones. And so I thought I'd add to her fuzzy scrunchie collection. And I got her those. I picked these up for the kids. Either for their stockings or for their Christmas Eve boxes. I haven't decided yet which at what point they're going to get them, but I love the tops. And this one is Frosted Berry with um, Frosty, and the other two are Candy Cane. And so, got that for the kids. And then I picked up several of the little mini Uno cards, 
and I'm doing like the little gift things for the kiddos. It's caboodles or um, toolboxes and I thought that these would be perfect to toss in there for a bunch of them because they're mini and adorable. And so I picked up four, seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven all together. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to give them to my kids or not or if it's just going to be for gift boxes for other people's kids. I'm not sure yet. I grabbed, I know we're after fall, but I grabbed two of these because I want to make a gingerbread sign and I want it to say like gingerbread lane for on top of my countertops. I've seen it where a lot of people have hauled them from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby and I love them but I didn't want to go buy one and so I'm going to try to paint it and make it. Again, add to my list of crafts that I want to do which is far long. It's a long list. I picked up this tea. I saw people using them in crafting videos. I have been obsessed with crafting videos lately which gives me more and more ideas of things to craft and less and less time. But um, I want to do some with the building blocks, which I already own some of the building blocks. And I was going to make some ornaments for them, but I was going to use this to make it sure that they're straight. And then I got the super glue to stick them together because I saw that on the Daily DIYer. She was using super glue instead of hot glue. And so I was going to try that out. I needed some conditioner because conditioner always runs out before shampoo and so I grabbed a conditioner. I wanted a red nail polish. Don't look at my nails, they're terrible. We all say that, don't we, on here? I just haven't wanted to spend the time polishing my nails. And so I got a true true red and then this one that's more of like a brick red and I will decide which kind of red I want when I decide to polish my nails. But I really love this Kish, Kiss Kiss nail polish. I feel like it stays on really well and it goes on really well. So I like it a lot. And then the Kiss stickers are going around. I didn't like any of the stickers my store had. I am seeing some of you with amazing nail stickers. But I just picked this one where you can do the designs. I would love to be able to give myself a French tip manicure. And I thought maybe these would make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to, I don't know, maybe play around with these. Maybe do like um, candy cane, white, and red nails. We'll see. I got this to add into my Happy Mail for somebody. Um, when I send that out, you can fill it in there. So it's the Peppermint Twist Lip Mask. And so it just feels like it's got like the lip things in there. It feels cool in there. So I'm going to add that. I finally saw the pink bags. Every time I've gone, the pink ones are always the ones that are sold out. These are the 9x6s, so they're the smaller ones, but I was excited to find the pink ones. So, And when I just did all my Happy Mail, I used up a bunch of those pretty ones that I had picked up, so I was glad to find those. I picked this up for my hot cocoa bar to put in the straws. I bought the red and white paper straws, and I wanted this. I might do some white paint in it to look like it's a cup of milk and then have the straws coming out of it. Um, I saw that on somebody's. I watched a lot of hot cocoa bar videos, so I saw that on somebody's, but I can't remember whose. But so I wanted one of those for that. I have been eyeballing these and not picking them up, so I finally just grabbed them. They are the cozy, comfy, have a cozy, comfy Christmas with the little kind of cups of hot cocoa on there. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to use them. I mean, in the kitchen, but I don't know if I'll have stuff on the hot cocoa bar that might fit in there really well. But I just thought they were really cute, so I had to have them. Guys, I'm almost done. Sorry about the really long one. So I bought two sets of these because I want to make some Christmas trees. And so I saw someone on one of the crafting videos. They took this bottom one. They took this top one. Hot glued them together. And it makes a much, not a much bigger, but it makes a bigger tree. And so I wanted to do some trees to put on top of my cabinets to go with the gingerbread people that I'm putting up there. And I was going to probably do them in red and white. And so I got two sets of those to do two trees because, you know, you got to have them in even numbers. Um, I've been crafting and I've been using a bunch of my paintbrushes. These are the only ones, the ones with these yellow tops that I like at Dollar Tree. And I've really struggled finding paintbrushes that I like at Dollar Tree. And these are like literally the only ones that I do, do like. And so I picked up another set of those. And lastly, guys... I've been watching crafting videos. I saw where people were using these really cute small gingerbreads. Come to find out I saw another haul where someone hauled it. It's like a pack of three or five of them or something that you can make ornaments. And I didn't find that, but I found these ones. 
So it looks like they are stocking decorations so you can decorate your own stockings, which is a really cute idea. And it comes with a gingerbread person, a reindeer, and a snowman. So also really cute. So I'll probably share the snowman and reindeer with the kids and then I get the gingies out of both of them because I like these just small felt gingerbread people. And I have not been able to find the smaller ones, I just found the gigantic ones. And there's a kid out there and if I run across it, I will pick it up because in my life you cannot have enough gingerbread people right now because I have been in love with them. All right, guys, that is my entire, entire haul. Sorry, it's been a really long one. I have missed you guys so much. I had so much to show. Um, again, if you want me to send you a Christmas card, my goal is to do that. So send me an email. My email address is down below in the description box, or it is ambers to do list at gmail.com. And I will try my best to get some Christmas cards sent out to you guys. Oh, I got a Christmas card yesterday from Sally. Sally, I got your Christmas card. So thank you so much. I don't have it right here in front of me because it's in the mail pile. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that one. And um, watch out for my eight, or 900 subscriber giveaway, which will be on the next video, I assume, unless my numbers don't move at all. But thank you again all for being here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.